This is it. Here I stand. I'm the light of the world. I feel grand. This love. Okay, so that was before things are sorted out, right? That's correct. And, and then, this is the new concert that's been filmed. That's right. This is the show. new film. Okay. Uh -huh. And now for the first time, we'll hear the original version of the song, which you and Michael did together, correct? Yeah, that and was this, it. Well, this is the, but this is the original one, right. audio, that we have. We're going to roll some photos right. with it. Take a look. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> Here I stand. I'm the light of the world. Love your grin. And this love. I can feel, and I know yes, for sure, it's real. So, same song. It's the same. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of ironic because it's, it was originally called I Never Heard, right? It's called I Never Heard when we wrote it. Uh, what you hear is they've done a nice job in the production and embellishing it sure. with rhythm and strings. It's clearly and the same. Basic, well, it is the same track. Right. It's the same vocal, same piano. Why uh -huh. didn't you put it on one of your albums? Well, I couldn't because once uh, he didn't finish the project, uh, I didn't have the rights to put it on one of my albums. Oh, when did you See, this all surfaced um, a few days ago when they announced the release of the new one. Okay. Uh, they called me. I heard from the press saying a lot of the fans wrote in and say, but it's not a new one. They said that there's a song called This Is It. It sounds like I never heard. Are I said, surprised? well, I never heard this is it. <laughs> so uh, they said, I was very surprised. So I said, well, let me get to the bottom because this has to be a mistake. Sure. So I listened to both versions. Uh, I'd, I'd already gotten a record in the 90s by a girl called Sapphire. Sure. So we played the two records. And I said, well, you know, this is it is I never heard. <laughs> I said, before you guys go after Michael or anybody, let me get to the bottom of this. Right. So within two hours after it all broke, uh, they very astutely, his estate, uh, they called and said, you know, Paul, there's been a mistake. Uh, we didn't mean anything, and I absolutely believe that. Yeah. And they said, what do we have to do? I said, whatever's fair, I don't want to hold you up. I wrote it with him, 50-50 down the line. In respect to Michael, let's go forward in a town where they eat their dead, yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. This got resolved in about two or three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but there are <laughs> Well, cordial. I mean, it, you know, once you feel people are professional and honest sure. with you, it was the honest thing to do. Yeah. You know. But there are recordings of, uh, that you did uh, with Michael, and they disappeared? Well, that's, uh, that specific tape, what happened in the interim of us recording, Thriller was coming out. Uh, I don't know if it was Michael or those around him, but they did take illegally the yeah. tapes out of the studio. So I was like very upset about it, and I went to his lawyers, who were my lawyers. I said, "Why? You know, I need to finish this project." Mm -hmm. It almost got into a legal issue. They returned the tapes. Mm -hmm. What happened was Michael obviously copied those original tapes, put them away. All these years later, what's emerged is that we wouldn't be sitting here. That copy that he had in his drawer of my tape was the one that they used thinking that it was a new song. What was he like? He was great. He was a, you know, all of us in the industry, I, I believe that most of us need at least 2,000, 3,000 hours of mileage to get to who we are. You got to get on the boards and do it. And that's when he arrived with me because I knew he, he and his family, they would come to Vegas and they were very courteous and I knew them when they were kids. But Michael started with me when he was 21. He was very pro professional, knew what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And he was just like a sponge. You know, he loved the business and he wanted to be number one. And he was a very, very talented guy to work with. I've worked with a lot of them, from Sinatra to the group. But he had something very, very special. And that's what you hear. This was a very unique talent. Didn't well, you, sp you spoke with him after the tapes had been returned, yes, correct? So yes. what did he have to say about the whole situation? Well, a, a few years later, I was in a, um, a lawyer's office and one of the attorneys came in and said, Michael Jackson's next door, he wants to meet you. Well, I was still smarting a little, but I said, you know what, bygones. I went next door and he said, Paul, I hope you're not still mad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Michael, don't worry about it. Uh, all in all, it's a happy ending. It's a happy, a happy ending. ending. And yes, it is, I, and we got to go now. We'll be right back, though.